What's up, you two? Valeo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Efficient channel. Today is October 1st, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 138 of this year. I'm down the Jersey Shore once again with my friend David Ho, aka Simplex Fishing. And today, in this video, we're going to target one of my favorite saltwater species that I like to eat. I am talking about the Tautog, the Tautogolabrus adspersus. No, I'm just kidding, okay? If you guys know about scientific names, right? You guys know that that is actually the scientific name of the Bergal, right? It's the Tautoga onitis, okay? I probably nobody will get the joke. Only the life listeners. But anyways, that, that's kind of sad. Anyways, today we're going for Tautog. Now, I would like to emphasize in this video that when you are a multi-species angler slash life lister, you really need to broaden your horizons and have an open mind. For example, right, regular anglers, when they come to a place like this, beautiful like this, let me show you guys, right, a location like this, the first thing that anglers would think to do is cast way out there to catch some fish right the open blue and i mean if you do it certainly you're going to catch a few different species of fish but what anglers tend to overlook is that sometimes you don't really need to cast it all the way out there to catch a fish right the tautog for example that we are targeting today is a species of fish that likes to live in the rocks in other words, to catch this type of fish, as I am going to show you and teach you in this video, you just put your fishing line in the holes, in the rock cracks, instead of casting out there. So I, I just wanted to put this message in this video. It doesn't matter where you fish in the future. It could be rocks. It could be coral reefs, right? Or just the salt water in general. Just understand that most of the times, you don't really need to do a huge cast out there to land a fish. As a matter of fact, certain species of fish may live and thrive closer than you think they are, all right? Among the rocks, among the coral reefs, etc. Let me get my setup started over here. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done and what bait we're going to use. In New Jersey, you can take one Tautog per day at 15 inches. Hopefully in this video, we're going to catch a keeper. Stay tuned. Alrighty, before we get started with the fishing session for today, let's talk a little bit about gear and technique. And I would like to emphasize in this video that the amount of knowledge that I'm going to give it to you guys right now, this knowledge is actually universal knowledge. In other words, you don't necessarily need to target Tautog with the knowledge that I'm going to give you. You can go anywhere around the world and fish rocks for different species of fish that thrives around rocks and you apply that knowledge you should be able to catch them as well okay as far as of course you adapt your gear right to the you know the sizes of the fish that you want to target so first thing you are fishing along rocks you are going to get a lot of friction your fishing line is going to constantly touch the rocks and touch sharp objects in the rocks, right? Barnacles, mussels, it can get cut fairly easily. This is one reason why in these videos, I always tend to use fluorocarbon or monofilament line, okay? Not braided line. Braided line is a very strong type of line. However, when it comes to abrasion resistance and friction, sometimes it gets, gets cut just like that, okay? Number two, you will get snagged when you do this type of fishing. This is just, it happens all the time. I mean, you are putting your line into holes, right? Among rock cracks. So expect to get snagged. Every time you do this type of fishing, make sure you have a lot of gear with you. I got packs of gamakatsu hooks, one odd, two odd, three odd, right? I got my sinker box here filled with two ounces and three fourths of an ounce sinkers you will lose a few setups when you do this kind of stuff okay in terms of the other gear like the rod and the rail it's gotta be sturdy because you will have to pull that fish 
outside of its hole when it bites, right? So I'm using the Casking Centron 4000 today with a drag pretty tight, okay? With a Casking Perigee medium heavy rod. I would recommend nothing lighter than medium heavy for this kind of fishing. Finally, the technique. The technique is something that is hard to discuss because you really need to come out and try yourself for you to get this type of fishing. But I would just tell you this way, it is really all about putting your stuff around the different holes in the area. So you just, you keep trying different holes and you measure the depth of those holes, right? And how exactly is it that you know that you hit jackpot? Well, you just keep trying the different holes until you hit one particular hole, the juicy hole, right? And you feel that your line has just gone a little deeper. When you have that feeling that you just put it in and it went deeper, my friend, you just know that you hit jackpot right there. Very likely, there's going to be some tau tog in there, okay? And that's when you just leave it, your stuff in there, you feel the tug, right? And you just pull, pull it out. So this is pretty much, you know, the gear and the technique. Uh, the bait that we're going to be using today, green crabs, we're going to crush some crabs. They love to eat crabs, right? And we're just going to fill different holes, try to get a keeper. Let's see if it will happen. All right, last step here. I just got to show you guys real quick how exactly we bait the hook with these little crabs. Check this out. We got the green crabs from the tackle shop just a little while ago. I'm just gonna get one. These are fresh, so you gotta be careful with them so they don't really pinch you, you know? They are really voracious. So there you go, you got one little crab, okay? Get your casking pair of scissors. Well, it doesn't need to be casking, but the casking ones are good. Cut it right through the middle. You see how it crushes just like that? Okay, we just killed a little crab. Hope you guys don't feel too bad about it. All right, it's just a crab. Chop, I like to chop the legs out. Okay, so chop the legs out just like that. This part over here, which is the body part with the juicy guts, is really the part that we want, okay? The amount that you put on top of your hook, of course, depends on the size of the fish that you want to catch, right? But this is a really juicy piece right here. Nice hole. Yeah, I think so. Bro, it went deep. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Oh my goodness, dude. It got me snagged. It's in the hole. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. See guys, friction, friction. What did I tell you about friction? Yeah, I knew there was a nice dog in that hole when I saw it. Yeah. Beautiful Tautaga. Onit is right here, but not a keeper. A keeper has to be 15 inches. Oh, there we go. I gotta show you guys the teeth of this fish real quick. You see that teeth right there? And that is why you don't mess with a Tau Tog. It really has the ability of crushing little crabs and everything. This is the biggest rust of the Northeast, just so you guys know. Just like we catch the slippery dick down in Florida, right? The Halicoetis bivitatus. That is like in the same category. Oh yeah, come on, go deep, my friend. If there's one, sometimes there's more in the same hole. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's stuck. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. It's out, it's out. Oh, juicy. From the same hole, my man. Same hole tug. But it's not a keeper. Yeah, see, it's not a keeper. 
I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful Tau Tog, but not a keeper. Oh! oh! I need to release that fish properly. No, man, it went into the puddle of water. Gotta make sure my rod doesn't fall over here. All right, all right, Tog. Don't give me a hard time. Gotta be careful with the dorsal fin, guys. Dorsal fin of the Tog can actually hurt you pretty bad. So let me just release this one over here. All righty. Oh, they've got one. Wow, he's horsing it in, man. Nice size. Whoa, that's a fat fish. Is it a keeper? Yeah, 100%. Wow, I think they, Dave thinks it's a keeper. I mean, I don't know if it is a keeper, but it's, oh, it is fat. Holy, you see how fast that fish does? Yeah, wow, man. Wow, bro. bro, let's, let's, let's measure. Wow, that's like your first fish of the day. Yeah, man. Let's see here. You gotta, you gotta make sure he's on a flat rock. Eee, man, uh, he's I think short. He's short just by one, yeah, he's short just by one tiny bit. No, yeah, no way, man. Really? No way, yeah, it's like 14 and a half. Wow. Yeah, it's like 14 and a half. Let's get a flat rock. I wanna like but it, let's man. take a shot. No, let's take a shot. Yeah, if you want to take your tape, but look, let, let's try this yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, just put it on zero, but I saw it was like 14 and a half. Yeah, it's 14, man. Damn, 14 and a half. That's the fattest 14 fish, fish I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, man. Still, it's not, it's not a keeper. I know. You want to take a shot? Uh, yeah, we'll take a shot. All right, let's take a shot. Oh, that's perfect. Good. You're good to go. Awesome. Nice job, man. First fish of the day. May just get a keeper real soon. Oh, that fish, I thought, you're so fat. Dude. <laughs> that's true. Oh, it's a keeper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a hit. There's it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. On the claw. There it is. But it's not a keeper. Not a keeper. I'm not a nice fish. Throwing the little cracks of the rocks, huh, buddies? <laughs> this type of fishing, let me tell you, is so much fun. Hooked on the side of the mouth, too. It's so much fun, but it's just real tough to come across a keeper nowadays. All right? Going back where it belongs. When you fish for talk, man, you can't have the one hole disease. The one hole illness, you have to be adventurous, try different holes. Because a, a one hole can only fit so much, you know? True. You catch two fish from the hole, the hole gets depleted. Gotta go and try new holes. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, there's, there it is, there it is, there it is. 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 Oh my goodness, get her out of the hole. Oh, it's not that big. It's not a keeper. Wow, I thought it was going to be a keeper. I mean, decent, fat, but not a keeper. There we go, huh? Wow, that's a beautiful Ross right here. All right, final view. Little, little dog right here. Can go back right where it belongs. Oh, oh shit, you shoot! Oh my god. I messed up this one. I messed up this one. Is it still on? Oh, it's still on. It's still on. Still, still, still. Yeah, I messed it up, man. That one went all the way to the left. Oh, I was like, it wants to cut me off. Not, not big too, but the strength of these little guys. Man, it's no joke. Man, this is crazy. A little fish like this almost pulled me into the hole. Beautiful towel talk though. All right. Now you guys know the secret technique. 
casking, fluorocarbon line, and Centron reel and rod holding up real good as a matter of fact. Oh, we got a hit right here. Now you guys know the technique. All you need to do is fill the holes around the area and hopefully you're going to catch some fish. Wow, this one clean, clean me up. One bite. Oh boy. Oh boy. A little bit better. Yeah, these fights are no, these fights are no joke, man. They really tried to pull me. They really tried to pull me under the rock. Wow, man. These little fat, chubby guys got no chill. No chill, man. You just couldn't resist that claw, could you? Oh, okay, okay. I hear you. The claw, very yummy, okay. All right, little tall tog. Oh yeah, it's on, 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 it's on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. Oh, that's nicer. Ooh, that's nicer, that's nicer. Oh, that may be it. This may be it. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, oh, oh stop splashing, boy. Stop splashing, boy. Oh, this may be it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is so sad, guys. I thought this was, a, this was going to be it. It's a 13 and a half which means it is not a keeper ah, and therefore it goes back no, I want to see the size of that because I think that's like what the smallest one of the day right <laughs> Dave Dave tells me Dave tells me he found a hot hole the best hole of the day and there's a lot of stuff biting down there. Whoa, bro. I wasn't lying where there's a lot of stuff. Bro, that is down. not even like a, wow. That's like juvenile collars, man. Yeah, man, look at them. Whoa, whoa, you even didn't even hook by the mouth, dude. You snag it under the mouth. Dude. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful fish. They have amazing collars when they're small, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they grow big, it gets all dark. This is good stuff. You know that your GoPro is not filming, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. It's fine. Just be careful with the dorsal and the anal fin. Yeah, they got two spikes there. I've caught a few this size before mm -hmm. on small hooks. It is really, really beautiful. The only thing about unhooking them is that they're so slimy. Yeah, that's why I use the Yeah, that's a beautiful one. <laughs> I think this is a small one <laughs> that we saw just now in this video that was kind of like god's message if you will you know not that i believe in god right probably something to tell us you know it is about time to wrap up and call it a day <laughs> you know what i'm saying dave and i we have been fishing for about six hours now it is 6 p.m sunset is coming it was a great day here at the inlet you know i think i landed about 20 to 22 tau tog i need to confirm that with my phone later but quantity wise and even sizes right we didn't get to get any keepers today no 15 inch plusers but let me tell you even if the fish even if this fish this species is like 10 inches 12 inches 13 inches they fight they fight really really hard you know you put it down there in the hole you get that bite and you set the hook if you come fish for this fish you will know what I'm talking about. So there you go, you know, a little educational video for you guys on the Tau Tog. Today was not the day, you know, no keepers today, no dinner today. Dave and I are probably going to pig out somewhere along the way, but not on fish. Needless to say, if you have never tried this type of fishing before, right, and you are around the area I truly recommend okay get a sturdy fishing rod the one I was using today in this video was the Cast King Perigee 2 it is a medium heavy rod so if you have a medium heavy 
freshwater rod, right? And any reel, like 4,000 model, I was using the Centron, you can come here and do some fishing, 30 pounds, test line or above, right? Just a sinker, a hook, come out and get to experience this type of things, right? Like I said at the beginning of this video, most people, when they come to places like this, they only think about casting out there, casting out there. Man, sometimes cast in the cracks of the rocks because you just never know what you are going to catch. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot from this video. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully next time a keeper is going to show up. Tie line.